Hey everybody, welcome to Purtle Monday. Purtle Monday where the puzzles are real and the cookies don't matter. What are Purtle Mondays? Purtle Mondays we work on different puzzles and riddles. Uh, we work on them together. We try to get better at armchair treasure hunts which has, which oftentimes has puzzles and riddles. And in order for me to get better at armchair treasure hunts, I think I want to get better at puzzles and riddles. They work on our vocabulary, they work on our lateral thinking, and our ability to think outside the box. Raven, welcome. Uh, we are here today. It is near the end of the month, which means I would be remiss. Huli, welcome. I would be remiss if I didn't mention that the breakfast tea and bourbon riddle is the deadline for the end of the month is coming up again. Yes, it has been almost three years. But Pete Bissonette has given out clues every month since past March. March 2020, April 2020, May 2020, June 2020. And even this month, he let out a, another clue which says, fly on, put a stamp on it, let's get the riddle to, the de to its destination. This is our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, our eighth clue into figuring out the breakfast tea and bourbon riddle. If you're not familiar with the breakfast tea and bourbon riddle, did someone get that riddle? No, no, no one did. <laughs> Nemo, welcome. Bobby D, welcome. Amy Seeks says, time is for lateral thinking. Yes. Breakfast tea and bourbon riddle. It is a free treasure hunt. The treasure, and it's 100% online, 100% armchair. There is no boots on the ground. Perfect for a coronavirus situation where everybody's stuck at home. Sounds like a post office. Yeah, I was thinking airmail. Fly on, put a stamp on it, let's get the riddle to the destination. I was thinking airmail. Free to use my email address to get a drink guest for it. <laughs> K-Pro, welcome. Yes, the breakfast tea, we're near the end of the month. I'll admit, when I get near the end of the month, sometimes I'll, I'll break out this riddle. All you have to do is figure out the riddle. It's a location somewhere in the United States. And if there's more than one correct solution, a drawing will be held. But it's been three years. I, I would really, I'm at the point where I just like to know what the answer is. And it's supposed to be pretty good. Just let me know, says Amy Six. Where is this riddle? It is at learning, stra you know what? I'm going to put it in the chat because I'm a streamer. It'll be out there for 900 years. It's going to be out there longer. There we go. That will take you to the place where learning strategy. Breakfast Tea and Bourbon was a book treasure hunt for $50,000. However, the riddle is for a case of bourbon, the case of Buffalo Trace bourbon. And all you have to do is figure it out, email in your solution, your location in the United States, and that will get to it. Mrs. AJ says K-Pro. <laughs> Alan, welcome. <laughs> and Sweetie's here too. Breakfast tea and bourbon out for 900 years. <laughs> yes. So if you have a free moment, you have until the end of the month. We have yet another clue this month. Fly on. Put a stamp on it. Let's get the riddle to the destination. You just email a solution. If you need the email, oh, the email I think was treasure at learningstrategies.com. Santa Claus Post Office, you, you guess as good as mine, Bobby D. We are looking for a very small and very specific four inch by four inch location in the United States. Very small, but very specific. So it's gotta be something not just the post office in Santa Claus, the only post with the Santa Claus name, interesting. Um, we have to find a four inch by four inch. I was trying, I even, took a piece of paper to figure out what four inches, four inches, about the size of a drink coaster to give you an idea how small that is. But that's what we're looking for an answer somewhere in the United States. I fly like a realized bourbon red with a pointy head and feathers on my butt. Where am I? I like candy called it the, the, the feather butt riddle or the butt feather riddle, <laughs> but it's free to participate. You spend some time on it, you don't figure out, it's okay. It doesn't cost you anything. And we've got the end of the month coming up, I think Thursday or Friday. Thursday or Friday is the end of the month. It is Friday. So you got till Friday night. Some areas, yeah, arrow has been thought quite a bit. Pointy head, feathers on my butt. Feathers were used for fletching at one time, the, the end part of an arrow. 
They used to have a 40-foot Santa Claus at Santa Claus, Indiana. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I Maybe there's some wordplay in here. You know, Pete Bissonette has, has used some different wordplay techniques in the book Treasure Hunt. But I just want to get the word out again that the breakfast tea and bourbon riddle has still not still has not been solved. So go ahead and try to figure that out. All the street names are Christmas themed too. Man, they went all out at Santa Claus. My goodness. But today, Forrest Van Hunt was solved for this one. <laughs> it was, it was. But this is one I've spent a lot of time on it myself. I even have some videos if I want to be a, a professional YouTuber. You can look back on some of my videos and some of my ideas I had for the breakfast tea and bourbon riddle. Uh, I had a facts video and I had some what I called inspiration where I had just threw out some ideas where I wasn't able to get them to the end point, but maybe someone can take them and take a little side side trip and then figure it out that way. But it is out there for anyone to figure out. So today, Priddle Monday, we're going to work on some puzzles and riddles today. If you have a puzzle and riddle you'd like me to work on, my email is ajrainville, ajrainville1973 at gmail.com. Yeah, we did, we did do one Zoom on it. That is true, K-Pro. But let's get to the fun. I saw this riddle. I thought it was pretty good. I have... Oh, we're going to start with with a one riddle. Did you do a Zoom on this riddle? Yes, it was maybe a month ago or so, Bobby D. Maybe you can convince her to do another one. <laughs> oh, it was a closed Zoom. It was a closed Zoom. It was not. Uh, it was not put on YouTube. I have a crown, but I am not royalty. I come from flowers and not from seeds. I am rough on the outside, but I am not sandpaper. What am I? Bobby D says tooth. It is not tooth. I have a crown, but I am not royalty. I come from flowers and not from seeds. I am rough on the outside, but I am not sandpaper. Crown royal says Amy Seeks. <laughs> yeah, I, I was there when you were watching... <laughs> When uh, House Husband Diaries came on, you ended up being all about whiskeys and and um, scotch and something about that. It is not Crown Royal, though. I have a crown, but I am not royalty. I come from flowers and not from seeds. I am rough on the outside, but I am not sandpaper. What am I? Pollen B. Anagram, welcome. So this is a riddle. And I looked up the answer to this one, so I know it's a good one. But I'm also not able to participate. I have a crown, but I am not royalty. I come from flowers and not from seeds. I am rough on the outside, but I am not sandpaper. Typing thoughts. <laughs> okay. Oh, typing out your, your thoughts. Paul and B. Uh, no. I will say. Okay, pro. It is not stern, Bobby D. Tree, no. Petal, no. Mm, okay, I wasn't sure I have to give it. It's a good riddle, and this is, and this is what we're looking for, when we not only for armchair charge runs for puzzles and riddles, we're looking for those aha moments, and I guarantee when you see the answer to this one. Or if you figure it out yourself, you're going to get one of those aha moments. It's like a dopamine rush that we're all trying to get. Difficult to find in armchair treasure hunts because they're usually more difficult than puzzles and riddles. But this is a good first step for us. I have a crown. They are addicting, Amy Seeks. That is true. I have a crown, but I am not royalty. I come from flowers and not from seeds. I am rough on the outside, but I am not sandpaper. What am I? All right, I'm going to give you a little more time. Flower crown. She's K-Pro is like typing typing out loud, as I'm going to call it. She likes to type out loud. Give us a hint. Uh, crown, the crown is a metaphorical crown. How about that for a hint? Crown is a metaphorical crown, not an actual crown. I come from flowers and not from seeds is a literal clue, is a literal 
It's a clue. It's not a hint. So, like a hat. Yes. Like a realized bourbon red. It's a metaphor, probably. <laughs> Queen B, says Brian B. No, not Queen B. Crown molding. It is not crown molding. All right, I'm going to give you 10 more seconds. What did I hear back there? Pollen. pollen. No, it's not pollen. It is not honey from Amy Seeks. No, no, no. All right, I'll give you a little more time, and then I'm going to give you the answer. Crown Victoria. Okay, we're. <laughs> it's not a. It's not a car. <laughs> or. I get Crown Royal. I said Crown Royal. No, it is not Crown Royal. I have a crown, but I am not royalty. I come from flowers and not from seeds. <laughs> I am rough on the outside, but I am not sandpaper. What am I? No, it is not Hold Me the Crown from, my goodness, that's a reference to a 90s TV show, I believe. It's not row. Come from flowers. Suggesting a fragrance. I don't know. The answer is a pineapple. A pineapple has a crown. Pineapples are grown from flowers. They are, pineapple is a plant. It does not come from a tree like a seeds. And pineapples are rough on the outside. There you go. Nemo got it. Or was listening to me. Pineapple. Pineapple. See, it is a good one. I got to Cookie for Nemo. It, oh, Nemo was listening. Oh, okay. He was just repeating what I said. All right. I didn't know if, because there's a little bit of a delay. I didn't know if I was seeing something I was delayed. Yes. No cookie. All right. No cookie for Nemo. <laughs> I like how the emoji cookies are serious business. They deserve a cookie. I don't deserve a cookie. I deserve a cookie. This deserves a cookie. <laughs> Pineal gland to salt that one. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes, pineapple. Pineapple was the answer. All right. Now, some lateral thinking puzzles. And this one I don't know the answer for, but it, it seems like our sort of wheelhouse here. What two words formed from different arrangements of the same nine letters will complete the sentence below? The homesick recruit told his civilian buddy... I guess I should have been blank, blank to my father when he told me to go to school instead of blank. Or is it what two words of the same, two words formed from different arrangements of the same nine letters. All right, so we are looking for two words and then two words. The homesick recruit told his civilian buddy, I guess I should have been blank, blank to my father when we... He told me to go to school instead of blank, blank. So we're looking for two sets of two words, and each set of words uses the same nine letters. Yeah, I'm thinking it's two, I'm thinking it's two words and two words. Otherwise, the question wouldn't work. I guess I should have been blank, blank to my father. Blank, blank to my father. Let's see if I can do this. Why is there such a huge gap there? All right, where's he going to fix that? Obedient? I think that's spelled wrong. I think we're... Lo okay, it's, we're looking for two words and then two words, I believe. What two words formed from different arrangements of the same nine letters will complete the sentence below? So I guess I should have been blank blank to my father when he told me to go to school instead of blank blank. All right, we can go like this. That puts it up there. Here we go. Oh, interesting. I don't know what happened there. So... Honest and then I guess I should have been 
something honest to my father rebelling except okay you're you're looking for nine letter words i'm thinking we're looking for two words that together form nine letters the homesick recruit told us villain listening and enlisting oh so you so you do think it's one word oh what two words oh so they are nine letter words oh okay I think we have I have this problem too and I think a lot of people have this problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unable to follow the instructions. Yeah, yeah. I think Alan got it. Listening. I guess I should have been listening to my father when he told me to go to school instead of enlisting. Yes. Susie, welcome. Listening and enlisting. Yes, that's got to be it. Okay, we don't have to we don't have to look at this one anymore. I failed to read the instructions. Don't do that for an armchair treasure like I just did for a puzzle. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Okay, we're not doing math. The letters below represent a common phrase. Let me give Alan a cookie. The letters below represent a common phrase. Can you figure it out? Cookie for he's back to Alan K. Oh, <laughs> just friends. J. Oh, there it was. It is right there. Just between friends. Just between friends. All right, I'll give them both. I'll give you each a cookie for that. Amy sees get one. I didn't mean to click the answer. Amy sees the K Pro guy. Well, you're both gonna get a cookie. K Pro gets a cookie too. <laughs> K Pro says she'll say she'll share her emoji cookies. All right, it's just between friends. J U S T is inside of friends. Just between friends. Uh, okay, fill in the blank below. This looks like our wheelhouse too. Fill in the bank blank below with a word that when it is read first forward and then backward means the same as those on either side. For example, cooking tools, blank, cease, pots, and stop. Okay. So a four-letter word that one way means cooking tools, and then the other way it means cease, and that's where you get pots and stop. Share a cookie between friends. All right, so we have part of a piece of furniture and we've got six letters and then prize. Looks like six letters, K Pro. That's a five letter, unless it's grands. Grands, and I'm gonna go ahead and I have an idea for one of them. So one way it means part of a piece of furniture, and then the other way it means prize. Grand <laughs> she adds an extra D. All right, I've got it. But I will wait to see. <laughs> Part of a piece of furniture one way. And the other way it means prize. And we're looking for a six-letter word. Either way, you, can, you don't have to give me both directions, but if you give me one direction, I think I have the answer. And I figured out what prize was. I started with prize and then I went the other way. All right, get a little more time. <laughs> so pillow and then the other way would be wallop. Uh, I don't think that's it, anagram, but thank you for guessing. Part of a piece of furniture and prize, six letter word means one of them one way, and then you put the letters in the other direction, it means the other thing. And I figured it out by, or at least I think I figured it out, by figuring out what a synonym for prize. Six letter synonym for prize. Outcast searcher, yes, welcome. Reward. 
So it's reward one way for prize, and then the other way, it's a piece of furniture drawer. Nice. Brain exploded. No idea. <laughs> it's got to be it. Drawer and reward. Yes. Outcast searcher gets a cookie. Very nice. All right. Let's 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 see. Oh, an anagram. Well, for, ana for anagram, we will do this. Oh, no. <laughs> the following 13 letters can be anagrammed into a rude five-word phrase, meaning do what you said or keep quiet. Oh, goodness. A rude five-word phrase, meaning do what you said or keep quiet. <laughs> oh, put up or shut up, says... Okay. Oh, ooh, everybody knows the rude. <laughs> Put up or shut up. Oh, my goodness. Look at all of them. All right. First one was Alan K, a.k.a. AK. <laughs> Anagrams. All right. Adding the year. First, we're not doing that. All right. This looks like almost like this is like a riddle kind of this one. A certain month. We'll begin on a Friday and we'll end on a Friday also. What month is it? All right. It's everybody's so rude. <laughs> I was thinking February because it's 28 days usually. Right? February. February. Uh, February. The only possible month which has leap year. The only possible month is February. Okay. Yes. February. Cookie for K-Pro, who got it first. That was more of a logic puzzle than a lateral thinking one, but that's all right. We're not doing math. We're not doing math. Ooh, bridge. My first is in bridge, but not in ridge. My second, oh. My second is in awake and in mistake. My third is in danger, but not in ranger. My fourth is in flange and in orange. My fifth is in spline and in wine. My last is in river and in diver. My whole likes the darkness. What am I? Two cookies. <laughs> Kpro's excited. She loves her emoji cookies. <laughs> and she got two answers right. <laughs> All right. We have to do a little bit of work for this one. I'll give some time. I'll read it again. I, I People are furiously working on this riddle. I'm going to call it a riddle. My first is in bridge and not in ridge. My second is in awake and in mistake. My third is in danger but not in ranger. My fourth is in flange and in orange. My fifth is in spline and in wine. My last is in river and in diver. My whole likes the darkness. What am I? All right. So I don't know the answer yet, but I we've got lateral thinkers in here. <clears throat> First, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And last, this is probably the letters of this word. So we're looking for a six-letter word. Bobby D thinks it's badger. Okay, the B is the first one. I'm going to just go see if, see if Bobby D's one works. Badger, it's in bridge and not in ridge. In awake and a mistake, yes. In danger, okay. G and G. Fourth one... Oh, D. It's in danger, not in ranger. Okay, fourth is in G and G. Fifth word, fifth letter is E. It's in both spline and wine. And R, it's in river and in diver. Badger. <laughs> Bake, danger, badger. My hole likes the darkness. I'm not sure what that means. Do badgers 
only sort of uh, are active at night? I don't know. Answer is a badger. All right. Good job, Bobby D. Oh, the badgers do are, are, are active at night. All right. Forward, I'm heavy, but backward, I am not. What am I? Forward, I am heavy, but backward, I am not. Ah, okay. I thought we've seen this one before. Brian P. gets it first. Ton, ton. So backward is not, but forward is ton. Nice. We've had this one before. I thought I recognized that one. Cookie for Brian P. There's got to be another page of these. We'll go to page two. What word is represented by the letters below? Interesting. What word is represented by the letters below? Hmm. Five second handicap because of the time delay. Everybody's got the time delay. <laughs> All right, I'm thinking this is like a rebus. Yes, doctor, doctors, medical doctors. But there's a big gap in between the abbreviations. So is it like doctors without borders or is there an expression that uses doctors far apart, space between doctors? I'm thinking it's like a rebus, the way it's sort of got this large gap between them, MD, MD, or it's MD, MD. Is it just the way it sounds like a homophone? Doctors, one word. Okay. But my in my mind, I guess I'm thinking of all the rebuses that we've done. There's a big gap. Plastic surgeon, DT. <laughs> Socially distancing doctors. <laughs> state line. Maryland, Maryland. The space between the state lines. There you go, Huli. I like it. Maryland, Maryland. What word is represented by the letters below? Doctors. I'm kind of hoping that it's a better... Doctors definitely works, is what I'm trying to say. Doctors works, but I, I'm hoping... I'm hoping it's something better than that, is, guess, is what I'm thinking. All right, let's see what the answer is. Paradox. Yes. Okay, good. I didn't get the answer, but I love it. I love the answer. Paradox. Pair of docs. M period, D period. Yes, Brian P. See, we're, it's a, it was something else. It was something like that. It's a paradox. Paradox. All right, we didn't get it, but I like the answer. It's a paradox. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. So looking back on it, it, it is a rebus. It sounded like something. AJ approves that answer. Yes. No cookies will be given, but I like the answer. That attorney is my brother, testified the accountant. But the attorney testified he didn't have a brother who is lying. Yes? Oh, I didn't, I didn't deserve any cookies, though. Oh, I'm doing a good job. Okay, I got participation cookies. <laughs> that attorney is my brother, testified the accountant. But the attorney testified he didn't have a brother. Who is lying? The attorney... It's a sister, yes. No wonder he's married. <laughs> So we're thinking the attorney is telling the truth because he has a sister. If a man divorces his wife, are they still brothers? <laughs> All right. Answer is no one is lying. The accountant is the attorney's sister. All right. Who's, who's had sister? All right. 
So they're both telling the truth is what it comes down to. <laughs> All attorneys are not liars. Come on, Capro. You even know some... There's some good uh, lawyers in the chase. But Cookie for Capro... Because we had a different type of puzzle before that used the brother-sister argument. Not like this, but Capro got the, got the answer there. Closest. All right, we're not doing math. All right, Kev, Bernie, and James like coffee, but John, Matthew, and Pritchard don't. Does Simon like coffee? Oh, my. Everyone lies, says Huli. Oh, goodness. <laughs> the chest was in, was not... Capro's trying to get, he's trying to cheese the putt, the riddle. <laughs> By answering both answers. Capro, I like your thinking. Oh, number of letters, odd letters. So four letter four letter name, six letter name, one, two, three, four, five, eight letter name, three letter, five letter, five letter. Yes, Brian P is I'm gonna give Brian P the cookie without even looking. Smart cookie, Brian P. So he saw that there were th odd number of letters in these names. They like coffee. Does Simon like coffee? And it's yes, because he has an odd numbered name, odd number of letters in the name, just like a <laughs> Brian cheated. So what how do we learn from this? We're looking for ways you can sort of think differently. It's not about coffee, it was about the number of letters in each name. Thinking laterally. You <laughs> looked at K Pro's paper. <laughs> uh we're not doing math. What is represented by this wacky word? Well, there's rebus puddles, puzzles. All right. Can I make this bigger? All right. What is represented by this wacky? So this is a rebus, and I don't want to click on it. What is represented by this wacky word, rebus? I don't know what the answer is, but I'm going to just type something out here. Oh, look at that. Robin Hood, Robin Hood. Okay, I saw Rob Rob inside Hood, but I didn't get Robin Hood. Oh, wow. You guys are good. Who's the first one to get that? Bobby D. It's got to be Rob in Hood. Rob in Hood. Yes, yes. Smart cookies or smarty pants, as Huli likes to say. Cookie for... Bobby D. Rob in hood. Rob in hood. All right, we're going to switch it up. We'll do one thing of words on stream. We're going to shrink me down. There we go. This game is similar to Boggle. Looking for at least four letter words. Take your four-letter words or, or larger, put them right into chat using the letters you see on the screen. And we now have a sort of lock feature. You can see locks next to your name. So you can't just keep typing in the same thing. You can't don't type in another word until the lock disappears from your name.
So I'm going to get that one already. I'm going to put in moon. So if you have a word that you do want other people to get, you can go and put it in the chat and maybe someone else will see it. Like, let's see. Mole's been done. Loan. Loom, nice, Amy. So we have two four letter words that begin with either M, N, or O. Don't know. Common uses two M's, I'm pretty sure. Loco, nice Lori. Lori, welcome. M N maybe Noel N O L E. I don't know. I don't know. We're moving on to the next one. We got most of the words. That's good. Moving on. All right, six letter word. Six letter word. Work is good. Brian P got the big one. Crayon. All right. Hmm. Crone is with an E. How about Nary? No, I can't do it yet. Gotta wait for the lock. Cyan is a good word. Corn, Rowan, well, that's an interesting word. Acorn. Can't do canyon. There's only one N for all the forest fenders out there. <laughs> it's almost thinking about doing canyon, but there's only one N. O or R word? No. Oh, here we go. Racy. Oh, sorry, Bobby. <laughs> sorry about that, Bobby. Got it right before you. Mm. Narc. Okay. Can. Is there like canny? Oh, that's two N's again. Canny uses two N's. All right, we got most of them. Let us keep it going. Keep it going. All right, six letter word. I'll wait till you can, everybody else can see it. Hunter. Oh, man. Good job, Nemo. I was trying to come up what it would be. I didn't get it. I'm going to get runt, though. Whoops. I got to type it in. Runt. Hmm. Tune tuner. There's rune, R-U-N-E. So we have an R or a T word, and we have another one's definitely a T word. And there's another T word, turn. Nice. So the only ones that are left are R and or T words. 
Oh, Amy got that one turn. <laughs> so we have one more T word. It's it, alphabetically. It's after then and it's before true. Through, T-H-R-U. Nice. Good job, Lori. We got all of the words. All the words that time. Brian, welcome. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody else. I think I got Susie. Okay, this is our first one with a fake letter. So there's one letter that will not help us. I'm thinking it's going to be the X, but you never know. Try yoga. Yoga works. Wow, we've got three ends. So at least two of the ends are good. Agony, nice. Okay, there we go. Anagram got gain. So I'm thinking it's something that the big word ends with ing, is what I'm guessing. Or it, why would the Y be there then? Mm. It's not A again. Mm. Two of the four letter words begin with Y. Oh my goodness. Oh, I bet it's maybe yin and yang. Annoying. Nice. Brian got it. Yoga. What alphabetically is after yoga? That's a four-letter word. Oh, thankfully, we got enough to move on. Man, that was a tough one. Annoying. So the X is fake. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm getting tripped up too. We had two words that were alphabetically after yoga. I was having a hard time making any words from that. All right, once again, we're going to have a fake letter. All right, and the final, the word with the most is a six letter word. So there's one letter that is fake that will not help you get the big word. Okay, I think the A is fake. I think the A is fake. And I'm going to piggyback on Anagram's word. And Oh, Brian beat me to it. Export, yep. So the A is fake. Do not use the letter A. A as an alpha is fake. I don't know if expo is a word or not. Hey, expo is a word. I will take it. I think I got a five letter word too. Rope, yep. Remember the A is fake. The A is a fake letter. Use Brian's word export and try to make word try to make words using those letters instead of the ones at the top if that that will help you, I believe. Toper. And I don't know what that word is, but it fits. <laughs> so the last one is a P or R word. If anybody can come up with that one. Is it repo? 
Repo. Okay, moving on. All right, we have a hidden letter and a fake letter. It's possible that the Q is fake. O D I T R. Okay, the Q is fake. But we have to figure out what the hidden letter is. Oh, is it just All right. So the hidden letter is a P, P as in Paul. P as in party. And the fake letter is the Q. The hidden letter is a P as in Paul or party. So we have a four letter word, it's either an R or a T word. Is it Royd? Nope. And we do have a six letter word that uses the letters in tripod for a different word. I don't know. And we have a four letter word. It's either an R or a T word. R word after riot and a T word before trio. I don't know. Drop it pre do. Oh, you guys are going for that six letter word. Per de do. Don't know. I don't know. Up next is level 15. Once again, we're going to have a hidden letter and a fake letter. <clears throat> We have a hidden letter. Okay, Brian saw <laughs> Everybody has solves in the Forest Fen community. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and do loves then. So let's see. Okay, so it's not an R. Let's try to figure out what the hidden letter is. Mmm, voles. There we go. So the P is going to be a fake. Okay, Pro found the hidden one. It's an H. H is the hidden letter, and P is the fake. So that means shovel will be one of them. Yes, the H is the hidden letter. And the P is fake. Do not use the letter P. Do not use the letter P. <clears throat> Hovels was the other one. Nice. Yeah, it gets tough when we get the, sort of the hidden and the fake letters. And K-Pro, you got a show to get to. So stop prittling and get ready for your show. It's coming up in 10 minutes. <laughs> I want you to be ready. All right, once again, we have a fake letter and we have a hidden letter. 
Having too much fun. <laughs> oh, five letter words. Okay. Five letter words. They have to be at least five letter five letters long now. This is where it gets harder. Five letter word five letter words. Minimum. Hmm. I'm gonna piggyback. Oh, Brian did the same thing I just did. Oh, so S is the hidden. You guys figured out what the S is the hidden letter. Hmm. So I guess the Z is the fake one. Yeah, Z is the fake one. S is the hidden one. I don't know. Dang, it's tough. Bison. Shin bone. Oh, you guys got it right at the end. Nemo and Bobby D saved us. Wow. Shinbone. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Level 18. Very nice. Yes. Group effort. All right. Remember, five-letter word minimum. We have a fake letter and we have a hidden letter. Minimum five letter, five letter words. I'm gonna piggyback on that and get a one word. Minimum five letter word. We don't know what the hidden letter is. Oh, it, the hidden letter is an L. It's an L. Hidden letter is an L. Maybe one of the U's is fake. Either one of the U's or the B is fake. No. The B is fake. B as in boy, don't use the B. No. Man, it's tough. It is tough. It advance. All right, we're going to have a little palate cleanser after the words on stream. I have a little palate cleanser puzzle for us here because I'm almost done. This is called the Eagle Puzzle. I put this under category, yes, lateral thinking. Lateral thinking puzzle. An eagle flew down and landed on the sea. It didn't move at all for about a day before flying away. How many feathers did the eagle have? 
How many feathers did the eagle have? <clears throat> this is a lateral thinking puzzle. A little palate cleanser at the end of the show. An eagle flew down and landed on the sea. Can I make the zoom a little bit bigger? There we go. It didn't move at all for about a day before flying away. How many feathers did the eagle have? Okay, I'm going to say that zero is correct. But to your reasoning, and Bobby didn't give you a reason. I'm going to have to say you're going to have to show your work. Do we get a case of bourbon? <laughs> uh, an eagle flew down and landed on the sea. It didn't move at all for about a day before flying away. It is not a boat, and it's not a plane. Brian has got the idea. No, it's not a coin. Okay, there we go. Nemo's got space capsule. Yes. An eagle flew down and landed on the sea. It didn't move up for day, for about a day before flying away. How many feathers did it have? Yes, zero because the eagle has landed. This is a lateral thinking puzzle. The eagle being referred to isn't a bird in the sea. It doesn't contain water. The eagle refers to the eagle lunar module that landed on the moon in 1969. The sea refers to the Sea of Tranquility. The eagle landed in the southwest corner of the Sea of Tranquility on the moon. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So let's see. Who said eagle has landed? Brian P. got that? Oh, I, I'm going to be free with the cookies. Brian P. That's the answer to the riddle. Realize bourbon red? <laughs> uh so it's not in the United States at all, unless it's the um, is the lunar module in the Air and Space Museum in Washington D.C. <laughs> all right, Brian. Uh, who else says Nemo had a space capsule? Space capsule. I'll give one to Nemo, who had the eagle has landed. Also, the eagle landed space capsule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a massive endeavor. That is true, Bobby D. That is a massive endeavor getting a man on the moon in 1969. So that was the eagle puzzle. An eagle flew down, landed on the sea, didn't move for about a day before flying away. How many feathers did it have? Yes, zero feathers because the eagle has landed. It's the lunar capsule in 1969, and they landed in the Sea of Tranquility. So I hope everybody enjoyed Piddle Monday today. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Enjoy the rest of the week. Piddle Monday will be back this coming Monday. Uh, the Hint of Riches is coming up in two minutes. I believe they're talking about uh, the Vegas die treasure hunt from before, trying to get ready for the next Vegas die. So head on over to the Hint of Riches is coming up next. Have a good week, everybody.